Hey fellow drone enthusiasts and of course a shout out to my friends at the Drone Seekers uh, and also a shout out to everybody at Xeno Nation. Hey, uh, yesterday uh, on our live show uh, a uh, topic came up with regard to uh, the Xeno and return to home. Uh, the question is uh, with the latest firmware upgrade 1.1.50, if you go completely out of range, uh, will the Xeno return to home? Now, I know in the past with the older firmware versions, the second that you got a disconnect, that drone would flip around and, and come heading straight back home. Uh, but uh, Peter Martin, had a video here a while back where he noticed with the newest edition of the firmware that it would not. It would simply hover and wouldn't go into RTH and would only return to home once it reached a low battery condition and then it would turn around and head back. He, his solution was to turn off the controller uh, and once you had, once the controller was off uh, the drone would sense that and return to home. And I believe that that was connected to the fact that you could still have an FPV connection but not a control connection. Uh, I believe that is what the gist of what he said. Uh, and then also, uh, yesterday on the live show, uh, Al Duran at Duranify channel uh, had the same experience uh, where his he went out to uh, out at range was testing range got out there and he spent uh, gosh about five or six minutes of dead time uh, before he saw his craft come back so uh, I thought that it would be appropriate to do an experiment and uh, and try that out oh I should say that uh, I will link uh, Al's, uh, the Duranify channel, I would link his video down below and also if I can find Peter's video I will link that as well. Uh, what I want to say about this is uh, that this was pretty nerve-wracking. Uh, we had a lot of wind uh, today out in the field. It was 12 mile an hour sustained with 18 mile an hour gusts and as we all know the Xeno doesn't do that great in the wind. The fortunate thing for me, the way the wind was blowing, I was flying out against the wind, so I knew that coming back it would have the wind with it. So that made me a little bit more comfortable. Uh, but it, it's always a little nerve-wracking uh, trying these things. Oh, I also want to add that unfortunately I did do an introduction out there in the field, uh, but I had some <laughs> had some issues with my microphone again. Evidently, I didn't have the uh, have the microphone cable plugged in all the way so I didn't get uh, the, uh, the the audio out there in the field I, I do have it the actual flight I will have audio uh, with my iPhone but unfortunately there will be some wind noise so I apologize in advance for that but uh, in any case that's why I'm making this introduction uh, in my office here uh, but uh, we, we took it out there and uh, I wasn't going to wait more than a couple of minutes. Uh, just battery life and everything else. Didn't want to mess around too much. And uh, having the knowledge of uh, what, what Al did on his video and what Peter did on his video, uh, what I did was then I shut off the controller and uh, 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 actually unplugged the phone and actually shut down the app on the phone and uh, then restarted everything. So anyway, uh, let's just get right to the video and uh, and we'll see the flight here. And uh, you know, again, I am continue to be impressed at uh, what a robust little drone the Hubson Zeno is. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully uh, this clearly is an issue with the flight control and I, I sincerely hope that it's something that Hubson uh, corrects in the future. On with the video. Thank you. 
Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. We're going to do a, uh, a hand launch here. So uh, so let's get the drone fired up. Boy, it's, uh, it's really windy, folks. I set it down to uh, fire it up. Okay, now we're recording. Uh, looks like motor's locked. Looks like we're, uh, we're ready to go. So let me get out here, get in front of the camera. And what I do is I, I hold the bird in my left hand, and with my right hand, I just press the takeoff button. So there she goes. Bring her down a little bit so you can see her. So we're, uh, this wind, it's definitely moving it around. You can see it, I put it in, uh, hopefully in camera view here so you can see it. I, I got it a little bit away from us, so typical of the Zeno, uh, it does not like the wind very much at all. So, so anyway, I'm not going to mess around while we got battery. Uh, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to head out, and uh, we'll go uh, we'll go out uh, max distance, and we'll get it to uh, disconnect, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, see, we'll see what happens. We'll see if it just goes into RTH or if I have to turn off the controller to get it to do so. Regular viewers to my channel have seen me fly this direction before. I, uh, I've typically, I go out over this field, I typically am able to get like uh, uh, around 980 meters before I have a disconnect. Honestly, it looks like it's flying pretty straight. We are, we're flying into the wind, so uh, I think it's doing pretty good for flying into the wind. Almost 600 meters here. Like I said, I think the most I've ever gotten out to is 980 meters, and it ad the advertised one kilometer range. I'm telling you folks, this uh, this is making, I, I'm usually uh, not very nervous about doing things with my drone. I'm kind of nervous today. So we're a couple hundred meters from max range. Out in the middle of a field over there. About a hundred meters from as far as I've ever gone with it before. So I will kind of uh, slow down a little bit as we get closer here. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, aircraft disconnected. So uh, that was only by this. Oh yeah, so now it came back and it's in GPS hold mode. But then I lost, I lost all picture. Aircraft disconnected again. Oh, there we got a picture back. It's still looking out. at my watch here so I'm gonna give it two minutes and if I don't see this thing coming back I am uh, shutting off the controller and uh, get it to head back to us yeah so this what I'm seeing is typical what uh, Durafi saw on his uh, it, you just you just it goes in and out and you just get a picture of what it last saw yeah, it's saying, oh, now it's, yeah, now it says it's connected. Well, 
no now it's disconnected but it's uh, yeah it's not it's still sitting there near as I can tell it, di it is not going into RTH GPS hold mode I got a connection again so I'm gonna go ahead and continue forward okay disconnect guys uh, we will give it another second here okay I am going to uh, shut off the controller and see if I can bring it home I think uh, I think we have proven uh, exactly what uh, what they said is that it does not uh, doesn't want to come home so I'm going to shut down the app completely so I can restart it Well, I thought I was. Boy, when it's cold out, these touch screens are more of a pain than they're worth. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start up the app again. Start up the controller. See if we get a connection here. Aircraft disconnected. Oh, it's coming home. Yeah, so it did. <laughs> well, it, th that was a, a little nerve-wracking, but it's uh, it's almost over the park here. Let's yaw down or drop the camera down so you can see. Uh, so that's the trick, guys. If you get into that situation with the Zeno, until Hubson resolves that with an upgrade, simply turn off your controller, and that will put the bird into RTH. Uh, so really thank you to uh, Peter Martin for figuring that out and to uh, Durify for that excellent video he put up the other day. So uh, pretty cool. And I can't tell you how relieved I am uh, to see this thing coming home with 43% uh, battery left. Oh, now it went into GPS hold. So as soon as I reconnected, it went into GPS hold. So let's, uh, let's bring it back with uh, return to home. Now that's cool too. So I guess I saw that on uh, Duranify's video. So as soon as it does connect again to the controller, it goes into GPS hold mode. So uh, need to remember that. So it's coming back and and uh, and, and we'll probably, uh, uh, well, we're down to 42% battery. We'll see if we can mess around with it a little bit here as soon as we get closer. Okay, I can hear the drone above me. I am going to uh, cancel out of RTH. Just hit that button, the RTH button, and uh, click OK. And so then it just goes into GPS hold. It's warning me that uh, battery's at uh, 40%. So let's back it off here a little bit. So one of the things that this drone struggles a little bit in the wind is, is doing an orbit. So I'm going to uh, go into that and uh, the other thing I wanted to check was creative video to see if they've updated any of that. They haven't. All you have is panorama. Uh, someday we hope to get that orbit shot and fly to sky in there. But anyway, let's uh, let's do orbit mode. Yeah, it doesn't like my GPS accuracy, so we're not going to do that. So let's not do an orbit. Let's uh, let's just bring her down. We're down to 35% battery, so I'll just bring it down and uh, and we'll uh, demonstrate a hand catch. Man, it is really windy here, folks. 
if I can, as you can see, I can barely keep my damn hat on my head. So let's get it in front of the camera here. Yeah, I mean, you can see that this bird does not like the wind. There goes my hat. Okay. I'm trying to get it a little closer to the camera here so you can see better. Boy, every time I do. Okay. <laughs> so that was probably not the most elegant <laughs> hand catch ever, but the wind was really blowing it around. Uh, but I think the key is to get off to the side and you can stay well out of the props on this bird. And it's, the way the battery compartment is, it's pretty easy to grab a hold of it. So all you do is when you grab it, you just pull down on the uh, stick and, and that's that. So, uh, so any case, uh, wow, good flight today. And, uh, I think we, we proved another point with the little, uh, Zeno that it's a hardy little bird. Uh, I have to tell you, I've done some pretty drastic tests with this uh, drone. Uh, I've, I've, if you look back at some of my other videos, I've, I've, uh, I've abused it <laughs> in, in many ways by uh, disconnections and, and trying some things that uh, flying low to the ground and things that you normally would not do and should not do uh, with the drone. But I do it because I want to show uh, everybody the capabilities of the product and uh, just what it can do so uh, just a reminder once again if you get in that situation where you fly out to max distance and you get a disconnection and the bird just is not coming back to you and not reconnecting to your uh, 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 controller uh, simply shut down the controller what I did is not only did I sh shut down the controller I uh, uh, unplugged the phone from the controller I shut down the app completely and then restarted the app and rest plugged it back in and restarted the controller now I, I don't know if you really have to go through all those steps uh, but I didn't want to I, I wanted to be as thorough as I could uh, to make sure that it worked and uh, by the way we did this on a day with uh, sustained 12 mile an hour winds and 18 mile an hour gusts and you saw my hat go flying off it's a pretty windy day and and the Zeno uh, handled it I think uh, relatively good hey okay uh, this is uh, Marcus Crawford with the Idaho quadcopter channel out uh, and if you like this kind of content and uh, uh, you're interested in uh, things like the the Hubson Zeno uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, more than anything else I really appreciate you watching this video and we'll see you on the next one bye now